Welcome back to part two of my Galactic Civilizations playthrough where I've created for myself a custom empire, a custom civilization known as the Feminist Empire. And I just want to take a brief look over where I stand right now. Uh, second place according to this list here on the left. Now, on the right, yes, I am Big Red, my Feminist Empire. And let's see, the faction power, I'm at second. Population second. Economic power, not so bad at first. Uh, military second, tech fourth, purple fourth, tourism and treasury second, influence also second, I gotta have to raise that, and social manufacturing at fourth, which is pretty abysmal. Now, I would imagine uh, being a feminist empire, social manufacturing would be pretty, pretty huge. They do tend to manufacture their social constructs. Uh, it's really big with them. You know, rape cultures and things like that. So, uh, let's see. Getting into the game. Where are we here? Uh, we are currently researching weapon systems on my home planet of St. Sarkeesian. We've got the research laboratory going and planet Vag Basic Factory. So, it's going to take me a couple of seconds to catch up. I haven't uh, played this game in approximately a week. i got a few ships around here and there. But uh, let's see, where we got with my idle ships? I know I've picked up three constructor vessels because I have so far uh, chosen, gone through the pragmatic ideology here, which has given me the three constructor vessels. And I know I saw something down here. Okay, because I want to get, get a hold of this antimatter and the culture relic. Let's see, so I'm going to send this guy. We'll see if I send him right there. I'm going to send another one to fill his place. And now let's see. I, wanna... I don't have anybody exploring to my left there, so I want to check around that side. All right. And I have found a cargo pod worth 100 treasury. That's good, 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 good. Now, uh, if you feel like you want to see the part one of this series here, it's not too long ago, and you could either follow the annotation or the card or the link in the description, whatever the hell I've put up on the screen, to watch part one of the with the creation of the feminist empire and, and the first days out in space and give that a good look through see how i've constructed what i believe to be what would be the feminist empire if hillary would have won which she didn't now uh, i've never been a huge fan of trump but dear god that woman was a fucking criminal so I'm not going to lie, I am more than happy she did not make it, and I'm pretty sure, and it gives me a bit of a woody knowing that she probably cried all night. Let's get to what we're doing here, casting the first stone, enormous Drengen battlecruiser floating in deep space. Hull perforated by thousands of small kinetic impacts, blah, 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 I've got myself a gunboat. And... The minor race of the penis heads, those special anomalies and artifacts are ours, cunt. Hmm. Send your survey vessel home. Fuck you. I'll do what I want. There be my gunboat. Okay. Let's take him. Let's take him back home. I'm gonna bring him to my Earth Starbase for now. And that is gonna take forever. Shit. All right, let's do it. Let's get the star base going. And I've got the cultural relic I can work on in the antimony. So I want the Xeno and the mining. That's good enough for now. Get me, ooh, what do we got here? 
ascension crystal, capture and study precursor ascension crystals to learn the secret of ascending to a higher level of existence. All right, well, I know what I'm going to build. I'm going to bring myself a little closer. Maybe I can get some of this Elarium in range, too. Oh, that's a good sign. Maybe there. Oh, oh, this gets even better. Two sources of Illyrium. I think that might be able to get everybody in range. And I've got my antimatter. Good. The first of your antimatter mining probes, little more than an engine with a scoop, returns from the surface of oblivion with its precious cargo. Having resisted all efforts to synthesize it, a reliable source of antimatter can be used in prototype missile and point defense systems. Right, good. Antimatter is good for the missile and point defense. Good. I'll keep that in mind. Blammo. Got him. Okay. I'm going to have you... All your Illyrium is mine. Mining. Zeno. It was there. Did, why did it disappear? Ah, okay. Wait, what are my sponsor settings for this baby? Not just one shipyard. Okay. All right, I can live with that. Okay, now they've got the weapon systems researched. Best defense is a good offense. You know who said that? Mel, the cook on Alice. All right, now. Let's see, what do I specialize in? Uh, accuracy, reduce the mass, or reduce the cost. Or should I switch to another tech here? Let's go with the influential voice. Yes, uh, I've been thinking about that. I'm all about the influence. I want to enhance my feminist culture and the influence. If I can turn planets and get people to be swayed my way with as little bloodshed as possible, that'd be great. I want to have the loud, shrill voice of, of Big Red to just terrify people into doing what I want. So I'm going to go with the influential voice. What can I create here? Uh, still got a colony ship on hold and, and no new planet yet to colonize, which sucks. We have to explore a little more, maybe make a couple more scouts. Uh, the constructors I'm okay with right now. Could start building some warships. You know what? I'm gonna make myself a prototype bomber. And can I buy it? Oh, I could buy it, but then I'm left almost broke. So, just going to build it. And there be, a, there be a scout. So, let's get you to explore. Maybe I should create a constructor next. I can start mining some more asteroid fields around here. Well, we shall see. And toasted but not burned, so right crew finds a slightly scorched but salvageable, apparently, battle axe. Very good. And I've got my Alarium mines. An unnatural glow fills the mining ship as it draws in the first batch of the mysterious substance Alarium. It is a material which has strange synergist, uh, synergistic effects on high energy systems and can be used in prototype shields and beam weapons. Good, maybe then I will... Uh, I'm going to have to do some research on the missiles and the beams. Let's get my battle axe appropriately named, being that I am the Feminist Empire. Let's get you to that Earth Starbase too. Right. Let's see who I'm dealing with. I want to see if I could get myself a hold of a technology or something deal with who's the nicest to me iridium is hostile excess 
furious and the dark hero is cool so let's see what i can possibly get out of them please don't hurt me okay all right do not worry the cunt will treat you well you are a battery powered mechanized object which is going to be used strictly for my entertainment trade resources tech uh let's see Manufacturing specialization. Okay. And what tech can I give him? See if he likes the weapon systems? Uh, let's take the weapon systems off the table. And I want to give you money. Oh, offer credits. Okay. I'm going to offer you... 400 okay seriously okay I'm gonna go with 500 ah uh, you're really killing me smalls all right 550 my final offer okay Some mysterious hardware alien. The alien computational systems found in its capsule is so advanced, blah, 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 blah. Even these low level capabilities, however, are enough to advance our technology. technological 25% on the influential voice. Okay, that's coming along well. Really could use more planets. And I've got myself another battle axe. I build in my little feminist army. Maybe I'm gonna have to take somebody's planet. That would be nice. Let's get you to the star base. Maybe I should research something to get these guys to move a little faster. See, St. Sarkeesian is now building a Durantium refinery. Let's take a look at the planet here. All right, so that's what I got working here. Generates manufacturing points per turn, but requires Durantium to build. Okay. All right. I can live with that. And what is Vag working on? You don't have a whole lot to be working with, so the factories, laboratories, all right. It's basic. Huh. My approval rating is shite. Beware, cunt. We have received reports of pirates. These scavengers destroy anything they come across. Better make sure they don't come across my cunt. My cunt doesn't want anything to come over it. All right, let's get the prototype assassin now. So mysterious hardware, alien computational systems, 25% to the influential voice, and I believe that means I got it now. All right, our culture has a way of communicating what our diplomats cannot. By increasing the ease with which other civilizations can access our culture, we can win hearts and minds before we even get to the negotiating table. Uh, proposing peace. That's the feminist way. But where will we go here? Cultural influence allows construction of basic cultural buildings, increases influence. Yeah, I'll take it. 
I may regret that choice if I want to enhance. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to work on these here. I want to reduce the cost of my weapons first. Then maybe I could get into researching the beams and the missiles and get a little force going here. Alright, got me some cargo pods worth a hundred in the treasury. Very good. that soon. How many like, turn it? Now that's going to be automatically creating a constructor at the shipyard. Well, I think I'm definitely going to need the defense systems there and maybe here as well. If it cuts into too many things, I may just have to cancel. There's like a minefield of black holes going on here. Okay. Let's see where I have to go next. A precursor anomaly. Bunch more antimatter. Uh, deciding whether or not I care about the ascension crystals. I never won a game through ascension before. I don't know if it's worth going for and how long that could possibly take me. But I think I'm going to have to work my way to taking out this corner anyway. don't want anybody else getting the Ascension Crystals. And I should get a good look at what this Precursor Anomaly is. Well, I'm going to sacrifice a Scout if I have to. Not bad. Oh, here we are with the Drengen. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the ultimate in misogyny. Greetings, cunt. May the universe be large enough for both of us. Well, that was unusually polite of you. Uh, the galaxy seems endless. Hopefully we can coexist. Space is more than large enough for both of us. I was hoping for a little bit more, um, a little more aggression in our first meeting here. But let's go with the hopefully we can coexist. Okay. Where's my survey ship? Don't know if it's a good idea, being it's the only survey ship. If it's heavily defended, I could lose the damn survey ship. <clears throat> Okay, good. Now I have the I have the resources for beam weapons and missile weapons. So let's research the quickest here, missiles. Get that going. And send you back on explore. Yeah, let's see. Who wants to trade? Let's see, um, despite our different ideologies, your generosity is recognized. 150 credits. I don't have enough. Unless that was already taken off the table. But for a supportive population, it increases approval, which is going to be very important to me. Since during the creation of the feminist empire, the approval was kind of down low, considering most feminists don't even like each other. I'm going to take it. Very good. Oh shit. The Drengen are in my space. Let's see. I've gotten all the 
decent resources in my area. Like I said, I could get more of this antimatter around this black hole and that cult, um, the ascension crystal. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. What am I building? Colony constructors, more of the same. You're only gonna have to learn how to research things better. My current fleet is the prototype assassin, prototype bomber, and one colony ship. Kind of out of place there. Send you back to the home planet for now. Let's see. Uh, requires atmosphere cleansing for this planet, which I really want. But that's going to take a lot of... A lot of work. atmosphere cleansing yeah it's gonna just keep me away from the other things that I consider really important atmosphere yeah yeah here we go that is quite far off for me uh, I think perhaps after the missile weapons I'm gonna go for that We'll see. I want that planet really badly. It's a perfect planet. Precursor quarantine plus 10 world production plus 50% gross income. We'll see. At least the Iridium Corporation is not mining my stuff. Did it get created? Ah, good. So those constructors were automatically created and sent. And sustainment Um, I don't know. Perhaps I'll concern myself a little bit more with the defenses in a little while. Now researching soil enhancement, so it will take me a total of 37 turns to get all the way here, or is this, or is this one going to cost 37 turns, like everyone behind it? Well, we'll say at least along the way we can take advantage of the of the colonization enhancements uh, and technologies for fixing our planets. Making it a little bit better, and hopefully, hopefully it'll work out in the end. Ah, incoming message from a major civilization. This is new to me. Ah, the Altarian Resistance, I believe they're called. And they're quite an attractive race here. Probably very good lesbians for the feminists of my empire. Uh, greetings, cunt. If you share our values, we will be loyal friends. If not... Hmm. Our space is more than large enough for both of us, or 
Excellent to meet my future servant. I'll put her in a collar and a leash. Let's go with that one. Let's see how they feel about us. Uh, they are so far cool. They are outside of our traveling range, which is great. My diplomacy skill really does suck, and the opposing ideologies. Oh, they must be egalitarian. Those dumb bitches. Okay. Alright, I am steadily losing money. I'm going to have to do something about that. somebody can help me with a decent technology the iridium they have technologies that have a lot to do with commerce let's see if I can come to a trade agreement with them expand trade xeno commerce I wish I wish they would be able to tell me what they would take well I'll go with production specialization Maybe. And then the missile weapons. Go for it. Take it. I think I'm going to have to drop the laboratory. Let's see about uh, a market center. Got to start bringing up some of my money. What can I do here? A uh, slice of paradise is where everyone wants to live or at least visit once in a life. Plus three to approval, plus one to influence. That sounds great. I'm going to build another market center here. Increases the world's gross income. Yeah, it sounds about right. Okay, and hopefully I won't go in the red. take those. Let's get a constructor built after this. And if I have enough money and time, then I could start building the mining fields here. Or there. ICS possibility engine. Oh, where is he gonna? He's gonna be building Starbase, but where is he gonna be taking this corner here? I don't think I'll have enough time to stop him. Just so you know, we have preemptively claimed all the cultural relics of the precursors. Do not even think of building a starbase near them. Well, screw you, I don't care what you want. And who do we have up here? Uh, the Iridium Empire. Right, there is a lot more of this galaxy to hunt. But as it is, there are no decent planets nearby me.
Galactic event. Flag waving. A sudden wave of patriotic fervor has swept across our civilization. All our people caught up in celebrating the great things we're doing. Such universal approval is incredibly rare. This seems an ideal opportunity to channel our people's energy into more constructive acts. Okay. This is a gift too great to interfere with. This approval was based on our people's appreciation for what we're already doing. We shall continue doing it. That would be my benevolent choice. Eager but unskilled labor has limited uses, but not non-existent ones. Let's start directing our people's new energy to contribute to various volunteer programs and other civic projects. All right. Or send these eager young citizens into the military where their brave talk can be put to some actual use. Let's see. Uh, I know I could get more approval from all the colonies, but I'm going to... I do want to add to my planetary defense. Get a little bit of approval and let me go with the malevolent. We're trying to raise a, a militant feminist army here, so we're going to go with that. And let me spend my malevolent ideological point. Aggression. Aggression comes naturally to malevolent citizens. Uh, taking is almost easier than building and a lot more fun. Grants me a free frigate class warship not bad motivation uh this unlocks the intimidation center improvement it, which would increase my ideology points every 10 turns or greed provides 10 percent increase to planetary income or awe no penalty from sharing borders with another another civilization i'm assuming by uh intimidation and such like that and awe but I think I'm going to go with motivation so I can build the intimidation centers and start to grow my malevolent ideology. It's a start. Now that I've gotten soil enhancement, I'm going to choose the new tech. I thought I would stay on track. Now researching environmental engineering. So, okay, so I am on track. And it's going to keep me flowing until I get to atmospheric cleansing. Okay. Well, that is done. And I'm going to call part two uh, a pause right now. And I will continue on my trek to taking over the universe next time. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And I will take that into consideration as well. Leave any comments if you kind of have any ideas as to how I might also move forward if there were choices you may have may have made differently or if you don't agree at all with how I've been running the, the feminist empire and how it's been built. Please let me know. I'd like to get some feedback and maybe see how I can direct myself further down the line. But until part three comes out, you guys have a great day. Enjoy our new elect president. Because it's going to be one hell of a fucking roller coaster. And uh, have fun.